What's the crack lads? Today we're going to be checking out what potentially could come with V3.6 and a couple of things that I want to see added to the game as well, right? We're going to go down the rabbit hole lads here. There's going to be a lot of predicting, there's going to be a lot of looking and to see what we can add up and see if there is any breadcrumbs that we can follow because we, all the information that we have is here. V3.6 update is coming tomorrow. I've already done a video on that. This is kind of part two of it where we go down on a deep dive as to what could be in V3.6 and why I think it won't be a massive update but why I think it will set the table and set the scene for the next big update, whether that's going to be another update to eFootball 2024, or they will roll in the next predicted update or the next planned update just into eFootball 2025 to launch with that. And I'm going to show you what I mean, because I think I've kind of figured out a couple of little bits and pieces here from just looking and researching and spending my lunch break just researching things um, like a crazy person, right? And going down the rabbit hole, okay? And maybe adding up things that don't add up at all, but let's see. But that's all the information that we have at the moment. So desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's get straight into it, right? So I'm going to just start by showing you guys straight up that there are new cards coming, right? So you're going to have these. I've already covered it in the first video. Shout out to the boys there. I've left their ads in for Twitter. Um, you've got the European Guardians there as well. These cards have been in the database for a while you've got the j-league ones and you've got the inter milan guardians as well right we know that we're going to be getting a lot of changes to this because obviously in here in the contract cover this in the other video um this pack is going to be gone this this pack is going to be gone tomorrow the pez 2020 throwback we're also going to be probably getting new cards in the eFootball point store and of course these 10 yes i said 10 packs are going to be all gone including all the nominating contract ones that you see here right so they're going to be all refreshed replenished uh, revitalized whatever you want to call it right also i don't think we're going to get like the transfers and that it's too early that usually is the last update or else for eFootball 2025 i'm going to talk about that in a second right however the match pass is already going to be gone tomorrow and the missions and all that we know we're going to be getting a brand new season so the new season that's going to be kicking off is going to usher in a brand new change to that all these packs that you're seeing up here are going to be gone the special startup bonus for Messi that was ongoing for ages that's still ongoing the managers are still ongoing but the new season is going to be in as well and obviously the Pez throwback the match pass and all that the eFootball phase is still ongoing but all the campaigns objectives everything's going to be replaced right now let's get into the nitty-gritty right because I want to talk about this so this is from the official Konami website okay the finish official konami website and as i said lads we're going to go down the deep rabbit hole here right we're going to go into the conspiracy theory uh section of the video okay it's just a little bit of fun and i do think that we could be onto something i'm going to show you these these are all the archives for the gameplay uh big updates that they had so even though konami have pushed hot fixes and they change the game every couple of weeks and tweak things and you know whatever this has probably been the longest period where they haven't actually adjusted the gameplay so I do think that tomorrow with V3.6, we are going to get changes to the gameplay, but I think it's going to set the scene and set the table for what will be the final kind of like update to usher us into eFootball 2025. Now, if you look here when the game first launched, once it went, pa went past the beta stage, right, the beta stage, we launched with V1.0, then we had V1.1, and that was the only updates we had and the only versions that changed on console. Mobile did get a V1.1.4, which added some new features and new things like that, right? So we're not too interested in that. When the transition happened from eFootball 2022 to eFootball 2023, we launched, Konami launched with V2.0, and we launched here with this version ourselves when we downloaded it, okay? V2.0, V2.1, V2.2, V2.3, V2.4, V2.5, and V2.6. So last year, we would have had V2.6, right around now maybe a little bit later in the year tomorrow we're getting v3.6 but if you look up here we never actually got on console a v3.5 so that has led me to believe that if you look here right we got update one two three four five six seven so there were seven versions from the launch v2.0 on eFootball 2023 to the end of eFootball 2023 before it went to eFootball 2024 with v v2.6 as i said here and as you can see here on the screen you can go in and look at all these changes in the patch notes we're going to be focusing on just one or two of these as we go down uh, a deep dive right but we had seven version changes from v football or v2.0 with eFootball 2023 launch version to the last version of eFootball 2023 before it became v3.0 we had seven editions on this current eFootball 2024 we have v3.0 which is one that's what we launched with v3.1 which is the second update v3.2 v3.3 and v3.4 so instead of having seven here 
what we had with eFootball 2023, we're actually only going on to our sixth tomorrow. So that means that we probably either have one more version of the game to be updated. So when V3.6 launches tomorrow, which we already know is confirmed, is there going to be a V3.7? Or as I predict, is tomorrow going to set the table for then what will become eFootball 2025 launch version? We will get this archive updated when V3.6 comes out. We won't get a V3.7 in my opinion. We will just go straight to eFootball 2025. Now why that's important in my opinion is that when we are looking at V2.6, there was big changes in the last two updates of the last updates for eFootball 2023. So V2.4, a lot of people love that edition of the game. But the real changes with the gameplay, where it started to kind of like be a little bit overhauled with terms of AI and passing and dribbling and all that, that started to happen with V2.5 and V2.6. For example, this here, right, is V2.5 patch notes. They introduced the overall rate and maximum limit changes. So players could be going to the 102, 103. Obviously, they're going to be adding the boosters. They also added a lot of different stuff with the team playstyle boost. The overall ratings may now exceed 100. They added a new feature called skill training, which was the skills to your players. They added the legacy transfer. So this was in V2.5 last year with eFootball 2024, which was season four is what they were calling it. So they seem to have either, they're either ahead on the seasons, but behind on the versions, or they're holding back specific versions now to, to launch with eFootball 2025 because there's going to be massive changes. I reckon tomorrow I'm going to temper my expectations a little bit. I'm not expecting, nor am I demanding, or nor am I like, oh, you know, it has to absolutely change. I did a video a couple of days ago where I was saying, you know, it has to bang, it has to this. I think there is a bit of pressure on eFootball 2025. Tomorrow, I think, as we said, I'm happy once they come out with a plan and say, listen, we're going to have one or two more updates. It's going to be kind of cards. It's going to be this. We're going to adjust this. We're going to adjust that. But eFootball 2025, once we get news on that in July or August, when it's going to be coming out, that has to have the big features coming and the big changes coming. Whether that's going to be, you know, Master League or Edit Mode or anything that people are asking about, we'll get into that again. Today is not the video for that because we have to see what's coming tomorrow. And I'm really, really intrigued to see what the shape of the future is going to come tomorrow. Some of you guys will have no hope and holding out no hope whatsoever. Some of you will be like, yeah, you know, I'm enjoying the game at the moment and this is going to be a big change. There's always the biggest changes towards the end of the life cycle of the current version of the game. EFootball 22, the beta, EFootball 2023, and now EFootball 2024. I reckon the Euro 2024 competition and the fact they're going to be adding a lot of content and they can add a lot of cards for that has probably scuppered their plans by about a month, especially seeing as they've actually, you know, extended the schedule on with the match pass and the cards and all that. Also with these updates here, you'll see, yeah, they had all new team player data and whatever, but look at the amount of gameplay additions and fixes and adjustments they made in V2.5. Look at them here. We're scrolling, we're scrolling, we're scrolling. There's everything. AI, goalkeepers, passing, dribbling, movement, defense, trapping the ball, passing, everything, shooting, everything. That continued on with V2.6. So in V2.6 last year, they added a co-op feature uh, for your friends. They added a new feature in player progression to be able to use for uh, reset player progression using GP and not just, you know, the, the items. The items are completely gone now. Increased the number of substitutions uh, to 12 players. Added a league filter to the several menus. Updated authentic teams. All of that stuff. But on top of that, they added loads and loads and loads of gameplay stuff. You can see here again. So they made big changes in V2.5. Then they made huge changes in V2.6. And then eventually they rolled that into eFootball 2024 launch version, which a lot of people thought was one of the best versions that they released for the first bit. Now, there's a couple of bits and pieces in here um, that I wanted to talk about, right? But I'm not going to make this video like 20 minutes, right? Because I know you guys are probably going to hold out a little bit of, you know, whether you have hope or whether you've just completely lost faith, you're probably going to wait tomorrow and see what it is. But this version here of the game was what launched with e, with V3.0, right? And you can see here that there was a lot of different stuff that they added to this, including the fact that Konami started to do a lot of trailers and they started to show actual gameplay stuff. So instead of talking about it, they showed exactly what was being happening on the pitch. The biggest changes they probably made was the responsiveness. This is when the AI started to get a little bit more aggressive and a little bit kind of covering stuff with the blocks and stuff, right? And you can see here, to improve this particular facet of play was players were unable to block the ball. This was feedback from players that they were unable to block the ball. 
Thanks for that, boys, whoever fed back that. But to improve this particular facet of the play, we have now added blocking motions, adjustments to timing, and they also made that for clearances, where they attempt to kick the ball with a huge motion. So that's what they did. They prioritized the fact that every defender could block the ball more consistently, consistently and then they doubled down on that in, in further updates, which made us have this defensive crazy pit of just auto-defending and blocked, everything blocked, 50 interceptions a game. Um, but yeah, they did a lot of that stuff here and they talked about different stuff, new traps, new AI matches with lifelike mentality. They kind of went back on that as well. But they also introduced boosters. So this was V3.0 at launch with boosters that players could go above the ceiling of 99. And they also added a couple of different features here like updates that they have here. Just in-game assets and stuff like that. But it is mostly about the gameplay that you see here. Dribbling, feints, traps, passing, all of this stuff. And most importantly, when it comes to defense, it said they adjusted the position position of players in matchups and it also adjusted the position of players so that it is now easier to reclaim possession when applying pressure and that one line there set us down on a very dangerous path of ai assistance right but we'll get into that again in another video um they also made the biggest change that they ever made to the game was this and i've talked about this quite a bit that people still don't really probably just missed it this was before a case where all the stats that you had, if a player had really high defensive awareness, it was just that, a stat. But what they did in V3.0, and what I think that they might re-roll back on tomorrow, is that they had this defensive awareness stat, and blocker and intercepted were all working in tandem. So it made the stats a little bit less... Uh, effective and it made the game a little bit more animated based animation based they also said that the ease of recovery after a block attempt is now correlated with tackling and the blocker player skills so if you've got 99 tackling and blocker you're going to be getting about 10 interceptions a game with all of your players so i do feel right tomorrow lads i definitely feel that there is going to be big changes um but all we have to go on is v3.6 and i do feel like that it does align up with the fact of this roadmap here that we had these different versions. We had seven versions of the game released with eFootball 2024, or sorry, with eFootball 2023, as you see there from V2.6, uh, which was the last one, to V2.0, which was the launch one. And then obviously from now, we have V3.0, V2.0, V3.1, V2.1, V3.2, V2.2, V3.3, V2.3, V3.4, and V2.4, but we're missing these two. So we're going to be, it looks like Konami are going to be skipping V2.5, which came out on mobile, right? It came out on mobile, but not for console. It's not in the console archive here. And we're going to be launching ahead with V2.6. Is that where the buck stops before we get to eFootball 2025, which would mean that we get this update tomorrow, which is the mid middle of June, and then we're not going to be getting an update for another two months, which could be a mid-August uh, release for eFootball 2025, which will tie in with the new season. Season 7 is usually the last, V2.6 is usually the last version, V Season 7 v, uh, is usually the last season. Let me know what you guys think. There's a lot to get through here. I went through this very, very quickly. Um, but sometimes, you know, to see what we're going forward. Listen, man, developers and companies, you know, they always do have patterns of repeated behavior and patterns of repeated releases. Warzone you know, Fortnite, you can kind of predict certain things. What do you think if tomorrow is the last ever version before eFootball 2025? What do you want changed? What do you want to see? I'm going to be streaming a full day tomorrow. And we're going to go through the nitty itty gritty as long as there's something there to actually sink our teeth into. We know the cards are going to come. We know the Euro stuff's going to come. We know a new season's kicking off. But let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out the live stream tomorrow. It's going to be a long one. And uh, I hope you guys join me for that. Don't forget to smash the like button and check out part one of this video. Until tomorrow, I'll see you in the live stream. Peace.